Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the basic data types in Python. That is list, tuple, set, and dictionary. Okay. So these are the most commonly used data types in Python. Uh, let's see one by one. So first we'll see about what is called as list. Okay. So list is a set of values, or we say it is a ordered set of values okay and it can be heterogeneous okay which means that in the same set of values it can have different data types also and it is mutable mutable means we can change the values or we can update the values and it should be enclosed okay list of list values has to be enclosed within square brackets Okay, so within square brackets, we have to include all the lists. So let's see first how to create a list. So let me have list one is equals to. So as I said before, it should be enclosed within square brackets. So one comma two comma say suppose you have float value and you want some name. Okay, so likewise you can have this is integer, this is float and this is a string. So you can have a combination of many items. So it is heterogeneous. So when you display, it will get displayed as 1, 2, 4.5, 7.0 and high. So when you want to check what is the type of this, just give type, then give list 1. It will tell you that this particular list 1 is called as your list. Okay. So now we'll see. What are all the operations that can be performed? Okay, that can be performed on the list. Okay, what are the operations that can be performed on the list? We can do insertion. Okay, we can do insert. We can have delete. Okay, we can have sort. And we can also have slicing. Okay, so first we are going to see about the insert. What are the various uh, syntax to insert values into the list? As we said, lists are mutable, which means I can update the list. Okay, so insert values into the list. We have again here, we have insert method. Okay, insert at a particular position. Okay, we have append, which will append at the end and we have extend when we want to add a multiple values together. So for that we will use. So these are the three functions which we are going to use. So append is for appending one element at the end. Extend is also is going to insert the element at the end, but it can insert a group of values. Insert is for inserting at a particular position. Okay, so now let's see what is in list one. So list one has this values so we are going to extend okay so we are going to add something so first we'll do how to extend a value okay list one dot extend extend as i said before for more than one element so say suppose i want to add 9 comma 12 okay then list one you can see that 9 and 12 are added at the end. So extend is for uh, adding multiple values. Okay. So multiple values at the end. Okay. Now let's do list one dot insert. Insert as I said before, it needs a position to include. Say suppose 0, 1, 2. At the second position, I want a number three to be added. So you can write display. You can see here at the second position, this is two. Okay, zero, one, two. This will be the th second position. In that, I have to add three. So I have added three. This is insert. You can insert even a string variable also. Say, suppose. Okay, you want to add a string. Hi. Then it will be added in the 
second position. Okay, so like this also we can insert. Or you want to insert from the last. Okay, you want to insert from the last. Then you have to give instead of minus, I mean two, you have to give minus one. So when you give minus one, it means from the last but one, it will insert three here. So at the reverse side. So last element can be inserted only through append. Last but one is using your minus one. Okay, and we can add the list also. Say suppose list one has one comma two comma three. Okay, and list two has four comma five comma six. Then you want to make a new list which is concatenation of these two. Then you can just give L one plus L two. Then when you print L three, you will have all the values of first list and your second list. So this is concatenation. Okay, where you add. So these are the list where how you can create a list or you can add a value. Okay, so that is insertion. Next we'll go for the deletion. Okay, deletion can be done using pop. Okay, then remove. And finally, when you want to remove the entire list, then you can do that. Okay, okay. so pop is to remove the last element in the list. Okay, say suppose L three we have one two three four five six. So you want to just give pop L three dot pop. Okay, it will just pop the last element six. Okay, so it just removes the element and it displays on the screen. So that is pop, and we have the remove also. Okay, so you want to remove a particular element. Sorry, L one. Okay, L three dot. Remove a particular element. Say suppose five. L three when you display, the five will not be there because pop has removed already six and remove now. I removed the fifth element here. And now you want to use your del, okay? So del with a particular position. You want to delete a particular element in a particular position. So del, okay? L one says L three, and within bracket you want to delete the first position. So L three when you display, the first element will not be there because I have given you zero. So zeroth position element is one, so that will be deleted. If you want, you can delete a set of elements also. Okay, say suppose you want to delete from zero to one. Okay, zero to one. If you want to delete, then so this is in zero. Okay, one will not be included. So let me give two here otherwise. So the first two elements will be zero to one. Zero zero one. And two, so it will be deleted. Okay, so this is deletion. Next, uh, sorting. So sorting uh, can be done like this. Let me see what is an L two. Okay, L two is already this one. So we'll create a new list. Okay, list two is equals to. I'll just or uh, not give an order. So now, if I want to sort this, just give list two. Dot sort. Okay, so it will be in sorted order. You can also reverse it. So just okay. Let's do. It will just reverse the order and then give it to you. So this is for sorting and the reversing. And you can also have, uh, we can also find out the length. So length is using len, length of l list two. So it will just count how many elements are there, and then it will display. So there are four elements in the list, so it will just be four. Say suppose you want to reverse uh, in the, uh, we can sort in both ascending and as well as in the descending order. Okay. So let me have a big list. Okay, five comma.
okay i have a list so if i want to sort it okay simply when you give sort it will take you in the ascending order so within that when you give reverse is equals to true then it will display the reverse order okay when you make this as false reverse is equals to false then it will display in the ascending order okay yeah now you will get it in the ascending order okay and now you want to clear all the items from your uh, list and you want to delete it okay so for that function is list of two dot clear clear is a function so when i say it will clear off all the elements there will not be nothing in empty set so now you can delete your list two okay and when you try to open list two it will show you an error which means that there is no list as such okay it has been deleted so in the next one we are going to see is uh, tuples okay so tuple as we said earlier tuples elements can be heterogeneous but it is immutable okay which means that i cannot update or change the value so tuples are heterogeneous it can have different set of values okay but it is immutable okay which means that you cannot change okay so that is a tuple so uh, all the tuple values okay tuple values will be enclosed in set brackets okay it will be similar to list but the values will be enclosed in your set bracket and it is immutable so we can create a tuple like this t is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and when you say t1 it will just display and when you want to check what is the type of t1 then it will say it is a tuple okay and when you try to change any of the value say suppose you are changing uh, t1 of your first position element you want to change something and when you try to give some value like this it will throw you an error because it does not support a updation so tuple will not allow you to update a element so that is tuple and we can find out the length of the tuple using len function so l1 of tuple it will just how many elements are there i have 1 2 5 and when you give delete it deletes uh, the element okay so del del of t1 it just deletes and when you try to display it will tell t1 is not defined okay this is tuple and next data structure that we are going to see is dictionary which is important data type in python okay dictionary is like your hash table okay hash table it is also called as a key value pair okay and it has to be enclosed within a curly braces values are enclosed with curly braces okay so dictionary is a set of values okay it will be so it will be stored as a key value pair so there will be one key and there can be a set of values for that so that is called as your uh, dictionary and every uh, key should be your unique values okay so we'll create a dictionary d1 is equals to as i said before it should be within uh, curly braces and let me have a key value pair when i say it's one okay all the values should be separated with a comma okay two then next value i have three colon and within three okay when you display d1 you will get like this so this number 1 is called as your key and this is your value for that and this has to be separated using your colon so key value pair okay is separated using a colon operator and list of values 
are separated using comma. Okay, so this is one key value pair. This is another key value pair, and this is another key value pair. Okay, when you see it is type of D one. It will show you it is a dictionary dict. Okay, so this is how you have to create a dictionary. Say suppose you want to access uh, the first one with a key. Okay, so you can give D one of within square bracket. You have to specify the key. So when you say key, it will retrieve the values. So when you say D one of two, then it will tell it is two. Sorry, it is D one. It will tell you as D two. Okay, so likewise we can access the uh, dictionary elements. So there is two methods in dictionary that is D one dot keys method. So keys method will display all the keys. Okay, it just displays one, two, three is your key values, and you want to display what is the values that is present. Okay, it will just tell you O N E one T two W three, and if you say D one dot Items, items is another method. It will tell you the key and the value. Both will be shown. And we can also create a nested dictionary, dictionary within dictionary. Okay. So how to create a nested dictionary? So let me have a variable. Okay. Always your dictionary should start with the curly braces. I'm just starting with the first one. O N E one, and say suppose when I say there is a second key called two, and within that I start an another dictionary. Okay, so in the two I say there is eleven key value with eleven, and I have another set here, twelve. Okay. Okay. Next, I have here. I'm coming out of the nested dictionary. I'm just printing it here. Three. Okay. And when you display, it will show you one one within two. I have another nested dictionary here, which has two key value pairs. Okay. Say suppose you want to access eleven. Uh, so how will you access eleven? So if you see nd of This is zero. This is one. So when you give nd of one, what are you getting? One. Okay. So when you give nd of two, that is your key. You will get a dictionary. And within this dictionary, you want to extract the eleven. So you have to give like this. Nd key is two, and after that, I have one more key that is eleven. So when you give, it will specify eleven. Okay, so this is how you have to extract the a particular key value pair from the dictionary. Now, uh, let's see how to update update a field or add a new field to your dictionary. Okay, how to update a field to your dictionary? Let me create one dictionary now. Okay, D one is equals to name. Whenever you have a string variable, you have to put it in single quotes. Okay, colon, and the name is Zara. And I have another key value pair that is age. Okay, and I have a age as twenty. Okay. So this is this, and let me have one more also class. Let me have ten years, and the class is sixth, sixth grade or something. Okay, let me display what is D one. So now D one has only name, age, and class. So now let's see how it can be done. Okay, so how you can uh, Uh, update a particular age. Okay, how to update it? So you want to update age. So D one of age e 
is equals to 10 or so is first 12 years okay so when you display d1 you can see the age was 10 now i updated to 12 so age has become 12 so just directly uh, specify which key value pair you want to change and then you can give the values directly okay now you want to add a particular field okay you can add a particular field also say suppose you're going to add a new field okay so d1 of say suppose we'll add a field called school okay i want to add a school and you have to give a value for that because dictionary is always a key value pair so school is my key and the name of the school is dps and i display my dictionary you can see another field has been added okay so this is the addition of new field say suppose let us do the deletion now okay del okay dictionary name is d1 and which field you want to erase say suppose name okay d1 when you display there will not be any name column at all there is no name field here because i have deleted here so likewise you can delete any particular key value also and when you want to clear off the entire list okay the dictionary you want to clear off all the elements of the dictionary then just give d1 dot clear and when you try to do it will give you an empty set okay it is an empty dictionary so now you want to delete the entire structure then just give d1 and when you try to access d1 it will show you an error okay so that's about the dictionary the next uh, another important data i mean data type in python is set okay so set here all the elements whatever all the values whatever the values that you're going to give will be sorted okay internally it will be sorted internally and it will remove the duplicates also it will remove all the duplicates okay so that is a set and a set again will be in terms of a curly braces we will enclose in terms of a curly braces so let's see how to create a set okay simply i can give s1 is equals to a set of values so here i have given some repeated values also and it is not in sorted order but when you execute you can check the values will be sorted and the duplicates would have been removed you can see there i have given one and three repeated so it has removed and it has displayed this is set and set is also heterogeneous you can include other data types also like this say set is equals to curvy and you have values like 5.6 or 7 then comma you have a float you can have a different set of values also hi so when you display s2 it will have again it will be ordered it will be ordered the first will be the float then because the float value starts from 5 so that will be the first number then 9 then among the string also h comes first so hi and then k comes so kavi so likewise you can have a heterogeneous set of elements also in the set and if you want to add an element okay when you want to add an element you have add function like this so the set name is s2 and you want to add some value say suppose 100 okay so when you display s2 100 will be added since 100 is what it starts with one so it will be the first value okay so you can add any numbers or you can add a value also string also say suppose add 
I'm giving you just Jack. So uh, J comes after H, so it will be after added after high. So that is Jack. So likewise, we can add. So based upon the uh, sorting order, sorted order, it will keep uh, inserting the values in that cor correct position. So when you want to check the type of yes to, it will tell you it is a set. Okay. And here you can remove, you can remove an element. Okay. You have to specific, you have to say what is the element that you're going to remove. Say, suppose I want to remove 100. Okay. Then when you execute, 100 will be removed because I have asked to remove 100. So 100 is removed from that. Okay. And uh, when you want to delete the entire set, just give del yes to and when you try to access yes to it will show you it is not defined okay and we can have some more operations in the set so we can have set operations all of us must have studied in school days union intersection difference right the so same thing can be performed here also Say suppose set one is one comma two comma three comma four comma five. And we have S2 is equals to ten comma twenty comma. Let's have some common elements also. Okay, so this is my S1 and S2. Now I'm performing union. So it is syntax is S1 union of yes to okay union of yes to so now it will just add yes one and yes two so it will add up all the values one two three four five ten twenty four five is already repeated and nine it will insert in the ascending order and it will display yes one dot intersection okay intersection is what is common elements so when you give s1 intersection the common are only four and five is common. Okay. We have difference also. So S1 dot difference of S2, which is there in S1, but not in S2. Okay. Which is there in S1, but not in S2. So the intersection element is four and five, removing those two from the S1 list. So when you give S2, dot difference then the element that is present in the yes two but not in yes one so when you say it will display 9 10 and 20 because 4 and 5 is repeated there so this is how you will be performing the set operations